suppose before I was able to walk, I was put on a horse. From there, I got a pony and done hunting and done everything you could with a pony. Um, I didn't really like school, so that wasn't uh, an option, but I started pony racing. I was at it for a good few years and gave me great experience. Um, when I was 12, I went to David Watchman's for just a three week holiday and enjoyed it. And I probably saw the outside world and wanted to get in more. So I was only 12, so I had to go back to school for another two years. And so I stayed pony racing. And uh, a friend of the family's, um, Con McSweeney, um, said to Tom to marry, he should come and see me riding. Um, Tom and trains over by Feathered in Knocking Glass Stable. So he came and saw see me riding and um, he offered me a job. And, of course, I jumped at it. Went and interviewed him in the back of his father's car, Mercedes at the time. And uh, he was able to stand up inside in the back of the car and change his clothes without hitting the roof. So I said, he's definitely got the make for the, and shape for a jockey anyway. Tom and knew the, the Stack family well, so when I was um, apprentice to Tom, he got me a job here um, two days a week riding work just to get experience in that. It kind of took off from there. I, I'm here ever since, um, here a long time, so um, I enjoy it. They're nice people to ride for. Wayne, he's a very, very good rider, very good, ju good judge of pace, and he always seems to be in the right place at the right time in any race he rides in. It's very rarely he gets cut out, but the only thing about him, you couldn't feed him. He'd eat you out of house and home. He's, we call him Hungry Horace because he never stops eating, and that's a big plus for him. Yeah, I have no problem with my weight. Um, I'm only 8'2", so I'd never seen a sauna, thanks for the God. Um, they brought up the weights. Look, a lot of people have to have to waste, and it's probably healthier that they brought up the weights, but it makes it a little bit harder for me because I have to put more lead in, in my, in my uh, lead bag. But um, I suppose it just opens the doors for people that could do lighter, they're going to try harder. So I think they could keep moving it up and people are going to still waste to try and do the weight. But look, it's probably safer and healthier to move it up. So I just have to put more lead in my, in my lead bag. Wayne's been here for 10 or 12 years. Um, he's very easy going. His riding has improved a lot. Um, for the last four or five years, he's been in the top four or five jockeys in the country. We're very lucky to have him around the place. Um, he does like his food a lot. I think my mother's grocery uh, household bill has gone up about double since he started coming around the place. But apart from that, we're very lucky to have him, even though we're nearly broke from feeding him. In 2001, I started with David Watchman. Um, he was good friends with Fozzy Stack. Um, I started going in there a couple of mornings a week. Um, Jamie Spencer was first jockey to Coolmore, because David trains a lot of the Coolmore horses. Um, so I was riding, say, third, second or third, whichever I could get my hands on, I would ride, really. Um, as you know, Joseph O'Brien is riding all the Ballydale horses now and Coolmore horses, so I get to ride um, David's Coolmore horses, so it's, um, it's a good help to me, and um, I'm glad we have nice horses and I'm trying to make the most of it while I can. Oh, he's very good, he's very strong, he's very level-headed, keeps it simple, doesn't, doesn't normally overcomplicate anything. He doesn't get too upset if it doesn't work, he doesn't get too excited, you know, so there's no highs and lows, he's just very level, very easy going. Bush Ranger, he won the angles for me, it was my third, third year winning it, so that was, um, that was a, a good record to kind of try and keep up. Dolly for Dolly was one of my favourites, um, she was tough, she used to kill herself, she was lazy. Um, she won, um, she won a good few group races and listed races, but probably the biggest one was um, in Royal Ascot. She gave my and Stacks their first Royal Ascot winner. I was lucky enough that um, Eddie Lyon had a horse called Soul Power, and he asked me to go and ride him in the Norn Top in England, and um, he was a hundred to one. The horse didn't know he was a hundred to one. Soul Power has quickened up to lead. Star Spangled Banner is the final challenger. A 1 2 for Ireland at the moment. Soul Power hanging on from Star Spangled Banner. Soul Power springs a surprise and wins the Nunthorpe. This is my first group one. Hopefully, I'll have one soon enough again. Hopefully. But look, there's a lot of good jockeys out there and um, everybody's looking for one. So there can't be enough for all of us. So hopefully, my one will come soon again. Here in Fozzy Stacks, with a lot of nice two year olds and the same in David Watchman. So I'm trying to keep them away from each other, they don't clash every time, but um, it's hard. I suppose you're always looking forward to the two-year-olds, you're always looking for the, the next superstar. Um, the horse in great form this year, they look well, and they're running really well. So it's just to keep the ball rolling now for the rest of the year, so we'll try.